Hello and welcome to another XRP update. Only a quick one today because there is not much to add. And if you like to see the bigger context, the larger context, maybe consider to check out my XRP video from yesterday. But we are still here in this possible one, two scenario. It could also be an ABC, but certainly something where I would expect to find support here in an ideal world and then move up a little bit higher from here. Um, talked yesterday and the day before about this should come down at least to the 38.2% retracement which it has now done at around 33 and a half cents that is important support because as you can see here we're just sitting um, above or we're dancing around this ascending trend line of this overall triangle so this is certainly support um, i did label this here as an abc in a wave two and this c wave could now be complete um, it has just found support at the 38.2 retracement. I did say in previous videos that normally the A wave of a wave two would reach the 38.2 retracement and then the C wave would normally go lower. Now in this case, the A wave had, has only reached the 23.6. Therefore, my consideration was that we might actually not go below the 38.2 retracement, which is again at 33 and a half cents. And the reason for that is also because of this strong ascending trend line, this support level. Now we might do, in all likelihood, normally a C wave would go, <clears throat> a C wave of a wave two would go all the way down to the 78.6 retracement in more extreme cases. Sort of the ideal target here around the 50 and the 61.8 retracement area. Um, and um, this is obviously something we have to expect as well. That would go down then into to either the 50% retracement at 32.7 or the 61.8% retracement at 32.1 cents. Um, but obviously it's now found support. It's at a make or break point, you could say, just now. Certainly we are pretty close to key support areas here. And I would expect at some point here a reversal to the upside. This is obviously only on the lower end here. And uh, moving up in a third wave or a wave C, you know, until you get this third wave in, you won't be able to tell the difference. Target would be, let's say we have the low in, target would be around 42 cents for that move, um, especially as the move down looks corrective. I did say in the current, um, in this current scenario here, or generally, I mean, for anybody who doesn't know the context, I'm still looking for a lower low for XRP eventually. So I did say as well that these wicks often get filled in most cases, yeah. So normally you, you would expect that in, I would say 85% of cases. So either we come down here and, and you know, sort of max out this support area, or we will revisit at a later stage. I don't think XRP has the overall low already in, but certainly short term, this looks impulsive to the upside and here with an ABC down. Again, this can stretch out a bit further, but I would expect the reversal here. And the evidence that the wave C is over and with that also the wave two will be provided if we break above the B wave high at 35.18 cents. I can also calculate the target for the C wave a little bit differently. In that case, I take the length of the A wave, go to the high of the B wave, and then we could still come down to 32.88 cents, which is the 1.618 extension. But we are not far off anyway. And with the one to one ratio, which is the 100% extension at 33.7 cents, which we've already broken, we've already reached the target that you would normally expect for a wave C. So. All good, be ready for a possible turnaround here at any moment, but bear in mind that overall for me, the trend is still down for XRP. And we also have this massive head and shoulders here. So um, this is certainly not um, a high probability setup to the upside. Okay, and that's my update about XRP. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.